Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning back in with your girl, Divine Gift and Terror. I want to welcome everyone here. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. Sorry that the last video was pretty a day delayed. Um, the area that I'm in is pretty much bad service, so you just have to work with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys, for liking and sending love to me. Okay? Okay, so let's talk about this. <clears throat> I've channeled this energy here, and there's an owl, okay? This owl is saying, your intuition is correct. Follow your inner wisdom without a fail, okay? So this is speaking about clarity to some type of situation here, okay? I also pulled a crystal card. This crystal card is saying um, that your life needs a new drive, okay? Something that needs to be paired okay and so we're gonna jab, dab in and see what the revelation is going to give us the final destination here okay if you guys hear any noise in the background just know i have um animals okay um and that's just the way it is here um so anyway let's go in Okay, so what I'm seeing here, right? This is the three of ones, okay? So the three of ones is telling me that um, someone here that is distance here, this person knows it's going to be either too hard for them to get over this water. Um, there could be some troubles if they even try to. Um, travel okay yeah this person here is having anxiety and fear so they know this could be difficult for them to try to travel because I see fear here okay so they having fear um, about them traveling or trying to reach or trying to come over on the other side here looks like um, this could be overseas somewhere but this person is really, really, really having some anxiety about trying to get on the other side here. Um, I'm also seeing here this person could be having... Another thing is this person could be also having um, anxiety with the Nine of Swords. Is that, you know, they could have had multiple lovers. This person has this. They could have had multiple lovers and, you know, sleeping around here. In a bed here. Um, I'm seeing here a Sagittarius, Gemini, a Aries, a Pisces, Virgo could be. Okay. But I'm definitely seeing these people here. That's a distance that this person here, you know, could have been fooling around here with. Okay. Yeah. They, they With the Six of Swords here and Seven of Swords. You know, this person here, what I'm getting here, that there could be some type of difficult communication, okay? Knowing that someone here could have been lying and cheating, trying to get away with something here, okay? And it's, like I said, it's multiples. This person here had multiple people in their bed. And the person that we're talking about is distance. This could be an Aries or a Leo. Take it how it resonates to you. This could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? But some type of communication, it seems like, you know, this person here is just, they got some fear here of communication, okay? This person could be distance. This is difficult for this person to try to communicate something here. Or maybe to move, because we do have three of swords. I mean, three of ones and three of swords. This speaks about traveling, moving. Something that's hard, maybe to get over on the other side here, to travel towards you or to communicate something or take some type of action as well towards you, okay? But this person is in their head here, okay? So we have here the four swords, okay? I'm also seeing here, okay, is something around about March 6th, 7th. So we have here March, there could be some communication, Around about March 6th, the 7th, or the 9th, okay? Okay, I'm also getting hit at March the 4th, 
the sixth, the seventh, or the ninth here. I'm also seeing here maybe April the third or June the third or July. Something like that is going on here, okay? But this is definitely some type of communication here. It could be about someone here could have passed away. Maybe the communication could be that somebody here could have passed away maybe in April, okay? This could be April or someone here could have sacrificed someone's death due to a health issue, okay? This is difficult maybe for this person here to communicate this to you because they're having some type of anxiety. It looks like somebody is having some type of anxiety about communicating a death, okay? This is about somebody here trying to maybe run away from something here. They know it's going to be too hard for them to run away from this truth or some information or communication here concerning a sacrifice or a death or something like that. Maybe they know it's going to be too hard for them to take action to maybe go back home. This could be somebody here overseed or trying to get over on the other side or something like that, right? I'm seeing here, this definitely could be um, somebody here that's got some enlightenment, okay? It could be about money. This could be about a family, Um I'm seeing here a gated community, okay? Somebody here stays in some type of gated community. I see security guards here. Uh, this could be a government or a prison, okay? Maybe someone here is trying to escape from a prison or something like that, but yeah, 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 yeah. I, I definitely see uh, some type of gate, gated community, Maybe some family that could be financial secure. Maybe someone here knows that this could be difficult for them trying to either climb over a, a gated community, <laughs> you know, to try to get away with money. Because we do have the seven of swords here, okay? So maybe this might be too hard for them to try to get over this gated community because this person here... Could be trying to force swords. This look like somebody here is meditating as well. Okay. Someone here is definitely broke. Okay. Somebody is broke here. They're homeless. They in grieving, sorrow. They lost love. They lost money. This also could be that somebody here could have lost their home, financial situation. Okay, maybe they just, they bank account could have closed on them. Um, I'm looking at. Yeah. Somebody here could have lost money in some type of situation. This person here lost something here. They're grieving. This could be a legal situation here because this does speaks about money, five of pentacles. So this also can say that someone here could have lost money in some legal issue, okay? But we do also see here that there's going to be some type of balancing. This could be something, a government or something here that could have made this person either went poor, broke, financial homeless situation here, some legal thing here, but justice is going to be served here. Um, I'm seeing this person, uh, I'm seeing this person having clarity. Because if you look here, there is a heart, okay? There is a heart. This person's heart is being restored. And there is a feather, okay? So the feather is telling us, okay, that there's definitely going to be some balancing and something that's going to be restored, okay? The feather also speaks about love and peace, okay? This person could have lost love because love, we did see this person did lose love here, 
Okay, we see love. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so we got five of cups. So they did leave, they did lose some type of love situation here. Okay. We know that this feather here speaks about clarity. It speaks about this could um be um someone here in some type of uniform. This could be a police officer. Okay, or um, someone here that could have been in some type of legal situation here. But this person here, you know, had some losses here because we do see lost. We have five of pentacles, right? And then you have five of cups. Okay. So this definitely is a lost here that I see. Okay. But justice is going to be served here. It's being balanced. I'm hearing balance is here. That's the truth. This is the clarity. Remember, we speak in the justice card and the clarity comes out. This is definitely clarity and truth. That things are going to be restored. We have an offer here from the divine. Giving this person back their crown. See how this person who was blinded to the fact something here could have been an illusion for this person. Someone here could have been blocked from seeing the truth from justice. But justice is going to be served here with the Ace of Swords. Okay. Six of Pentacles. There's definitely going to be um, something restored back financial. Six of Pentacles is about give and take. Okay. Because something that was lost in the justice system... There's going to be given back, okay? Something is going to be given back here. Definitely going to be Ten of Pentacles. Financial security could be. I'm seeing also the Six of Swords. There's going to be some type of communication about this, okay? We have here the Six of Pentacles, okay? Okay, I'm also saying here, um, this could be a, a Taurus, okay? Something here is significant about a Taurus here, okay? This Taurus here could maybe want to come in and work with you in some type of way, okay? It could be investments, working together, okay, to bring balancing, I'm seeing balance in here. Alright, I'm seeing maybe June the 3rd. Alright. I'm also seeing here. Okay, so this could have been a one night stand that someone here is not taking an offer for. This could be a tours. Okay. Maybe someone probably wanted to come in and work with you concerning this but someone here is not taking the offer here hmm. I'm seeing here yeah I'm seeing here um, a one night stand it could be an Aries but someone here is not taking that offer at all I'm seeing um Someone knows that you walked away crying emotionally. You could have walked away from cups, all these cups here, okay? Because you figure you don't need to fight over either money or some job position here. You could have walked away from a position, a competition at a job, okay? Because you figure you don't need... To be in a competition when you know you know your worth. This is somebody here that knows their worth. Okay. But you could have walked away from a competition. You could have walked away and gave knowing that you can give yourself self-love. Maybe from this tourist person. Or this one night stand situation. Knowing that you don't need to be in a one night stand. For money, okay? Or to work with somebody with money, okay? Concerning the one night stand. 
you could have walked away and gave yourself, okay, self-love. This could be a Sagittarius. Balancing, because we do see you could have walked away to some type of truth knowing that you can give yourself self-love here, okay? Also, um, this could be a Libra. Someone here that's balancing their own life, true love. Giving your own self clarity. You could have walked this to the to truth, to the light. This is about enlightenment. Okay. I'm also seeing here, this is about someone here reflecting on a new beginning here or reflecting on action. Okay. This could be a Virgo could be reflecting on some type of action. Okay. This is about judgment, okay? Someone here knows this family or this home situation is definitely protected by our angel Michael here. I'm seeing your ancestors as well. Or I'm seeing that someone here, okay, could have took action here with the Ace of Wands. And cause judgment on a marriage. This could be a marriage here. Okay. But someone who definitely could have called judgment on this. With the four ones. Okay. The king of swords. This could be Aquarius. But some type of um, event is going on. Changing with some type of communication, maybe with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but I'm seeing Aquarius here. There's some type of favor is going some type of way with communication with this person here, or some type of truth here. That spirit is here, is turning something here in someone's favor. And this could be a Gemini, I mean, I'm sorry, a, a Aquarius, okay. Someone here could be pouring out something that lo no longer served them, okay? And it could be love. Ace of Cups is in a reverse, okay? So, so something here could be changing some type of way, okay? Seven of Wands. Something here that could be blocked. This could be a vehicle, okay? Or someone here could be blocked from a vehicle or from moving a vehicle, Okay, someone here could be defensive towards a cancer, okay, or some type of legal issues. This could be a cancer, Pisces, or an Aquarius that I'm seeing. Or I'm also seeing here that there could be some conflict around this as well with the, with the cancer, something like that. And maybe why this person here could be... What I'm also getting here, too, that someone here could be standing up for this cancer, okay? And maybe this is why this person here, right, is pouring out love, okay? Maybe that's why they're so defensive, because they can be guarded, guarding this cancer here, okay? It could be due to some type of friendship, or marriage situation here. This could definitely be Aquarius. Some type of truth about this person. And this is why spirit has called probably judgment. And maybe this person is going to receive karma in some type of way. Okay. Whew. We have the second death card that came out. Okay. So this definitely could be an ending. Okay. Uh, this could be a Scorpio, right? Someone here could also, right, could be distance from a Scorpio. And maybe they ended something here with a Scorpio, okay? This is a page of ones. This could be an Aries Leo. Something is about judgment. This person could be protected this leo here somebody here could be being protected some type of way okay this could be over 
traveling. I'm seeing traveling here. Maybe somebody is protecting themselves from traveling or going to travel some type of way. We have here the King of Wands. So, this Page of Wands and this, this King of Wands here, these two people could be protected in some type of way. Okay? But someone here is feeling left out of money. Someone here lost money in some type of way here. Okay? Maybe that's why they up under judgment. It could be those two page of wands. Fire sign. We have here the nine of wands, page of wands. Someone here could be acting a stalemate because maybe they wanted to be single. And this could be either this page of wands energy, a Leo could be. Okay. The Ace of Wands here is about someone here took action maybe towards a family or some money here. Okay. And this is why maybe they up under judgment. Okay. We have a Sagittarius here, right? What I'm also is getting here is there's a Sagittarius is not open. Maybe to a King of Wands energy. What I'm also getting here is that somebody here was either mi mixing or trying to merge some type of fire and air sign together or water or fire to water or something like that here. It looked like somebody here was trying to merge something here. Okay, and I'm also getting here is that somebody here could be in some type of illusion. Okay, and this could be a Taurus, a Aries. This person here could be up under um what I'm also getting here too. Some this person here could probably not be open to options. And this could be a Taurus. Maybe somebody here is not open to any options here at this moment. Maybe they just working on trying to get a self self love, okay? For a new beginning here. Something like that is going on here, okay? All right. So, um let's see. Let's see what um uh the message of uh let's see. Hold on. Give me one second here. Let's see, the crystal of secrets of, let me see, this crystal deck, let's see, okay, all right, my other cards got messed up because someone here, unfortunately, <laughs> pulled coffee, okay, so let's see, all right, let's see what spirit has to say, holy spirit, holy angel, let's see, please give us something. Let's see. Okay, now this is what this is saying is self love. Rose Court. I approve my self love myself deeply and completely. Okay. So this is clarity that we need to give ourselves self love from all of this. The next one is um, teacher. This could be actually a teacher here. I have the divine wisdom of the universe within me, and I openly share it with the world. So this definitely could be a religion person, a teacher that we're talking about here. Okay. Okay. Um, and... It says selenite. This speaks about spiritual awakening. I'm a spiritual warrior of the light. This could definitely be a religion or a Taurus or Aries. Okay. Then we have for awakening crystal. Soul awakening. I am awakening to my true ascent and I am the full expression of my soul of vibration here. Okay. And one more, Divine Temple Crystal Source. I deeply connect to an expression of the Divine Source, and that is the universe. Okay? So I want to thank everyone for tuning in with your girl, Divine Gift of Terror. If this message resonates with you, definitely feel free to keep the message. And I want to continue to send everyone love, peace, and light in a happy New Year's. 
God bless. Take care. Peace and many blessings. See you guys again soon.